The United States, the world's foremost naval power, is facing a challenge reality on the international market. Foreign navies are increasingly looking elsewhere to purchase new warships. So, this question arises. Why is nobody buying U.S. warships? At the heart of the issue is the staggering cost of American warships. An Arleigh Burke-class destroyer comes with a price tag of approximately $2.2 billion per vessel. The U.S. Navy's own long-term shipbuilding plan anticipates spending an average of $40 billion annually through 2054, with costs consistently rising faster than inflation. These figures are often beyond the reach of many allied nations who must balance defense spending with other national priorities. This situation has opened the door for international competitors who offer advanced warships at a lower cost and with greater flexibility. European shipbuilders in particular have a long and successful history of naval exports. France's Naval Group, Italy's Fincantieri, and Germany's Thyssen Krupp Marine Systems are among the global leaders, producing a range of frigates, corvettes, and submarines that are popular on the export market. The Franco-Italian Frem frigate, for example, has been successfully exported to several countries. Many U.S. warships are too specialized for their own good. Take the Littoral Combat Ship, or LCS, for example. It was designed for very specific U.S. Navy missions in coastal or littoral waters. While perfect for a particular operation, it's not the versatile tool most navies need. Many countries aren't preparing for the same high-tech conflicts as the U.S. They need adaptable, general-purpose frigates and corvettes that can handle a wide range of tasks, from anti-piracy patrols to disaster relief. Finally, the life cycle cost of operating and maintaining advanced warships is a major consideration for any Navy. These through-life support costs can amount to as much as 70% of the total cost of a vessel. The complex and high-tech systems integrated into U.S. warships require a significant and expensive logistical tail, which can be a heavy burden for foreign navies. In contrast, warships from other nations may be designed with a greater emphasis on ease of maintenance and lower operational costs, making them a more sustainable long-term investment for a wider range of countries. 